Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking up Void to rank 4. Now I wanted to show you guys what my overflow looks like currently. I just took up uh, Stealth Suit Spidey to rank 5. So a lot of these resources have been used up. The uh, T2 alphas, you see that T5 basic that's in my overflow here. But look at all of this green. That's because I also had an opening uh, of my T4 class catalyst, and I got a lot of science, far more than I needed. So we're going to use some of these up and take up void. All right, so let's claim these. And let's see what it looks like now. Much cleaner. Still have these T2 alphas here. Still have quite a bit of green. Um, because we have not ranked him up to use him up yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I was waiting to take this guy up when I awakened him. Oh, and we're going to have to buy uh, the T1 alphas. We need six of those, and I used up all of mine. So we are going to hit the glory store. And as you can see, I used up two that I needed, and I have all the T4 basics I need. So we're gonna grab six of those. I love the new glory store, let me tell you. Very, very nice, all right. Let's go ahead and get this guy ranked up. Now, this void, there's a story behind him. Now, you see I can use this three to four rank up gem. The reason that I'm not doing that is because I need to use up those class catalysts. So, want to scroll that up because a lot of times when it's down like this, people don't realize that the T2 alphas are still there. You just need to scroll, okay? They just can't be seen all at the same time on this screen. All right, so let's go ahead and rank him up. Now, I wanted Void, and I'm gonna use these because I have tons of them, and I don't need gold. I don't recommend you guys do this. It's not efficient. Um, if you need gold, you want to use, you know, the class uh, to be more efficient, but uh, I don't need the gold so I can do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, but anyway, um, I waited for Void for the longest time. I pulled Captain America Infinity War and he does a lot of the same thing that Void does but they both do things a little differently. So Void still has a use and he can do things that Captain America Infinity War cannot do and vice versa. All right, so let's take a look at Void. Um, now, take a look at his attributes here. One of the things that uh, I wanted to mention about Void is his health pool. He has a really large health pool. Uh, and that can be very nice, all right? Especially if you don't have any other counters for, say, Iceman, and that cold snap is gonna eat away at you, you have the health to handle that, all right? His block proficiency is, is pretty good, okay? Um, I like that block proficiency. Um, he's got some armor rating, that's good. Critical damage, uh, looks decent, loving it. Uh, crit rating is okay as well. All right, take a look at some of his synergies. My boy OG Hulk here. Uh, let's see, yeah, Sentry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so there you go. And I remember there is a there is a a synergy that someone else has with him that's really good. I think it's Omega Red but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, his signature ability is very much needed. Uh, you can play him without it, 
but chances are I'm not taking him anywhere uh, outside of arena until he's awakened. And I could awaken him, but I took up my Captain America Infinity War instead because I couldn't pull Void. And Void right now is on my most wanted list for dupes. He's the only one there. The only one that I really want to awaken right now. Um, but you saw the resources. I wanted to use those up. So he had to go up right now, even though he's unawakened. He's going to still be in the arena. But it is what it is. All right. Now, his awakened ability, the reason why that one is just so awesome, that fear of the void allows you to do so much more damage. You know, once you get Fear of the Void, you can then start stacking those same debuffs again. And his damage just ramps up considerably. And if you're fighting a very, very beefy opponent, oh man. Um, if they have any kind of health regen or anything like that, insane. Okay. Uh, but Void can still reverse healing. The mastery that I recommend everyone get, even if they're not using Void primarily, is the Despair Mastery. Uh, if you get that Despair Mastery, max it out, which I do in every one of my builds, it makes Void so much more better. And even though he's not awakened because I have the Despair Mastery, I can still reverse healing. It's just not as effective. Void benefits from every single SIG level as well. So once he's awakened, he's good. If you just want to use a science gem on him, he's worthy. Uh, at one, it's much better than not having him awakened. And as many SIG stones as you put into him, that's how many um, he's more effective. Uh, he does not need a high SIG, but the more you put into him, the better he is. All right, so... Let's take a look a little bit of uh, some gameplay on Void and see what he can do even unawakened. We're going to end the video with two fights. The first fight is Wolverine in Realm of Legends. You get to see what Void can do there, even unawakened. And the final fight is going to be against a Red Deadpool in Act 6. He doesn't get a ton of regen, so... That fight's going to be a little bit longer, but you're going to be able to see that Void can still do the job. All right, so take care, everybody. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. I'll stand.